Welcome to All About WordPress. In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate WooCommerce PDF invoices and packing slips plugin. So, using this plugin, you can easily generate PDF invoices as well as packing slips for each order. And also, you can send this invoice attached to each order, the order email that you send to your customer. And also, admin can download or print invoices and packing slips from the WordPress dashboard. So this is a free plugin and it's too much easy to integrate. So let's see how to do it. So this is the WordPress page of WooCommerce PDF invoice plugin. And you can either download the zip file from here Load it in the WordPress dashboard, or you can download it from the WordPress dashboard itself. So, you got the plugins, add new, and you can search for it. Say here. And here it is. You can click on the install now. And then activate. You can see it's activated. So you can go on the settings. And you can see the customization part for this invoices and pack slips. So here when you click on the PDF, whether you want to move into new tab or window, so and this is about the template. So if you want to change the template or if you want to use your own template, so what all you have to do is to get the templates, the specific path that mentioned here to your child to be. So in order to customize the templates. And this is up to the paper size, and uh, it also supports the currency symbol. If you have an issue, you just need to enable this. And then it's all about what are the things that you have to show in that invoice. If you want to show the logo, if you want to show the name, address, what are the things that you want to show in the invoice can be entered here. And there's all of like extra fields in invoices, all comes under the customization of. The invoice or the package slips, and also you can see another tab over here that's documents. And here you can enable for invoice if you want to enable invoice here, you can just click on this, and it's up to you. Like you can turn all the emails that you have to show the invoice. Like if you want to attach invoice to the new order email, you have to click this and uh, if for a failed order, if you want to attach an invoice, you can click on this. If for processing, I want to show it for processing as well as new order where the invoice can be attached. And then if you want to disable for any specific status of order, like printing payment, you don't have to show an invoice. So you can just select it over here and it will be ignored. And then if you don't want to show the shipping address in the invoice you can do it from here so it's all for the customization of that so you can do it as for your needs and for packing slip also if you want to enable it you have to just click on this and the customization part so after all the changes have been done you can click on the save changes and when i go to my order section yeah, I have a single order over here. So when I click on this, I can see an invoice for this order. So when I click, so this is an invoice for my specific order, order number 51. So this will be the invoice. And uh, as I mentioned before, you can customize the templates. So this will be the invoice that will be attached to the specific mails, the mails that we mentioned before. So, and if you want to print it, you can also print the invoice as well as the packing slips and that can be 
used if you want to paste it in the delivery or you want to use along with the deliveries. So it's pretty much easy to get an invoice and run slip for each order. So that's it. So easy to configure. Thank you for watching the video.